Well, we get up every day in the morning thinking estate planning is the most important thing people can do. Probably the rancher gets up in the morning thinking about something else or the business person here in town, but it is a very important topic. What is estate planning? Estate planning can mean a lot of things. To us, it means really taking the time to help people understand the most important issues involving them and their family and doing some planning to address their most important issues. It's not just throwing together a will and a power of attorney and sending them out the door. We do have a six step process that we follow for our trust based planning. And it starts out with what we call the right fit conversation. We want to sit down with people and in that initial meeting we want to accomplish three things. First of all, we want to get to know each other and help us and help the client decide are we a good fit? Because if we're going to get into this with our clients, we want to have a long-term relationship. We want to be able to really be doing the kind of planning that can make a difference. So it's really important that we are a good fit. We're not the right attorneys for everyone. We, I think we are the right attorneys for those individuals who uh, want to be involved in that process that we that we describe to them, and they're part of that. We're part of a, a team working together to to go down that road and come up ultimately with the legacy. Number two, we do want to find out, help the client understand their main issues, and talk about how we could address those about our process. And then right in that initial meeting, to the extent we've been able to get things specified, we want to talk about the price because it can be all over the place. And we don't hold ourselves out as the cheapest lawyers in town. We feel that we give a lot of value to our clients. We want our clients to know up front at least a price range, what we're talking about for different kinds of planning to make sure that makes sense to them. Our next step, we call the design builder meeting where we're really gonna go into depth as to the issues that the client have, the legal tools we could bring to bear, and design a plan. And that design builder might be completed in one meeting. So far, the world's record is eight meetings. That's only <laughs> once, but maybe one, two, or three meetings most commonly. And at the end of that, we're gonna have a plan, and then we're gonna be able to quote a specific price to the client. Right. So they know at that point exactly what it's gonna cost, they know exactly what we're going to do, and they're not committed until that point. That's People like that. Then once we have the understanding, as I say, we have our marching orders, our next meeting, our design solution, we prepare a diagram so the clients can really understand the ins and the outs of the planning and draft documents, and we'll go through those documents. It can take two hours. We're not going to read every paragraph, but we're going to hit the main provisions. We're going to show where the plan addresses the client's main concerns. Then we've got these great trusts. What assets go into the trust? How are we gonna handle that? Who's gonna do what? That's worth a separate meeting. We call that our asset game plan meeting. Then the next step, we call our solution review. We're big advocates of our clients sharing their planning with those who should know. Usually their kids, maybe grandkids, people they've named as trustees or healthcare agents. We don't have to be involved in it but we found that we can help that discussion. So solution review up to the client, but we are twisting their arm to have that be a part of the process. And then over the course of the year, people want to raise questions. They might want to tweak their plan. We're not going to charge you extra for that. That's in the base price. At the end of the year, we'd like to get together with the clients, make sure everyone understands the plan. It's what they want do any tweaking they want to have, make sure all the assets and beneficiary designations are properly titled, and we got a plan they're happy with. The last step is to really make clear to the client, we have, we have the world's greatest plan right now, but if we don't stay on top of it, and we just put the plan in the drawer and expect it to miraculously work perfectly 10 or 15 or 20 years down the road, not going to happen. We're going to get back together whenever there's a change in family circumstances, change in the law. Certainly every three, four, five years, sit down, talk about the plan, talk about the current circumstances. May not make any changes, but we just make sure it's the right plan for the, for the clients. We're into relationships. We want it not to be just a transaction that we're with the client. We want to develop a relationship with the family. We want to work with them over time. We want to see 
how they evolve, how their plan evolves, and even be working with their children after that, and perhaps even their children's children down the road. And in our practice, you know, usually the practice of law, there's always a, you know, adversarial, oftentimes, litigation. There's always a winner and a loser. I always describe the practice that I'm in. I do what you love and love what you do. And I think that's how I would characterize that. And at the end, it's one of the few things in the practice of law where when you're done, everybody's happy. Everybody has a smile on their, on their face when we put together the, the plan. The only other thing that I could even think of in the law would be an adoption. I go over to the court and I see the adoptions and at the end they're all having the pictures with the judge and I equate that to that. You know, that's, that just fits my personality and I think that bring that to the table for my clients as well. I really think it's important for people to realize the importance of estate planning. Yes, for them, to help them stay in control for the remaining years, that's huge. But to keep the family together, to make sure the estate plan, the passing on of a legacy to the next generation is a positive and not a negative thing.